Ladies and gents, welcome to the channel. It is Thursday evening, one day before Friday, which is the day that I leave to go to Super D. I'm just getting off work, clocking in another 12 hour day. I'm a little bit tired, but I've got some work to do. So what I'm going to do today so that I don't have to do it tomorrow is load the truck. I'm going to load the truck up with everything that I need. I'm going to load the car with all the stuff that I need to put in the car so that I'm not overloading the interior of the truck. Then we'll load the car on the trailer. And once I got that all on the trailer, I'm going to rob the vert of some drift spares. I'm going to put him on jack stands in here. He'll be fine. He won't trip. So let's get everything that I need in the truck. Then after I get everything in the truck, I kind of go over the stuff that's in there and kind of the stuff that you would want to take when you're going on a road trip to do some drifting. Because not only do you need to bring the stuff that you want to have for your car, but you also need to bring some stuff for your tow vehicle just in case something goes wrong. Just in case. To get you off the freeway, to get you to a, a maintenance shop, to get you to the parts store, and maybe you can do the work yourself. So we'll go over that once I get everything loaded up in the truck. We're good? All right, let's time lapse into the back of the truck. Here we go. All right, so it's really not too much needed. I've got uh, spare tie downs and straps, anything that goes crazy on the trailer. I've got replacement parts for that. Uh, hoses, clamps, spare nuts and bolts, things of that nature. This is all fluids, waters, oils, um, cleaners. Uh, what else? rain -X, All kind of little stuff like that. That's one fuel tank. I actually got to go to the track and fill up right now. A uh, couple of extra wheels. These are the 19s. I'm probably going to use those as easy up anchors. But worst case scenario, if I do run out of tires, I'm going to run those. Of course, a um, ton of zip ties, my toe plates, and let's see. Of course, we've got team flags, easy up and a small compressor i was thinking about bringing that but i'll probably feel pretty lazy and leave that at the track <laughs> but uh yeah easy up chairs oil filters for the truck um a couple of my really big big sockets just in case you never know when you'll need them and some breaker bars so pretty much that's really the only thing that's going inside the truck. We know I'll have a uh, whole joint tires, wheels, toolboxes are going to be on here, dirt bike's going to be on here, and jack is going to be on there with the car. So um, that's really all that I'm going to have. That's really all that I'm going to bring. So, I'm going to get everything loaded up, get the car on the trailer, and uh, I've got to head to the track and get some fuel, because I need to make sure I have all the 110 that I need, because there's really no gas stations in the vicinity over there. So, everything else will be here in the car, um, extra wheels, jumper pack, uh, just random stuff like that. Everything that I can fit inside the car there, I'm going to fit inside the car and uh oh yeah i'll need like bluetooth speakers for the pits and everything like that so i'll get everything there all that stuff will be finished and then that'll be that all right well i fueled up my vehicle um it is way too late to fire up the rx7 and it's far too many people to get a clear shot at getting it on the trailer tonight i don't know why there's so many people in my neighborhood but whatever um, I ended up grabbing a few extra pieces like my spare radiator and things like that. So I fully got everything equipped. I'm going to actually 
leave this here since it's got a full tank of gas now. I'm going to take the Integra and I'm going to go over to the racetrack just to fill up that uh, the last five gallon. So, eh, didn't get a chance to do what I needed to do, but whatever. If I really hustle hard tomorrow at work, I can get off early. I have to go go to sleep. I have to get a nap because I don't drive well when I'm tired. I can drive long distances, no problem. This is a straight line, and I can be nodding off and on Instagram. Matter of fact, I have a new trick that I'll be able to show you guys on how to conquer long distance travel without energy drinks. But I am going to buy some energy drinks just in case. But um, I have an organic trick that I'd like to try. Hopefully, it works. I'll explain it to you guys tomorrow when we're on the road. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to have to get some sleep. want to be sleep by like 5 or 7 so I can sleep until midnight-ish. And then I'll just get up and go so that I could be to the circuit by 7 or 8 a.m. So we'll see how that works. Anyway, let's grab this fuel and get on the road to Sonoma. I just made it here to Sonoma and it is 100% freezing. But these dudes are working on something going on sure what the hell event they could be prepping for but uh man they're setting spotlights up all over the place but anyway man it's freezing let me get this fuel real quick dudes it is so cold out here right now i am 100 percent frozen just by being outside getting a little bit of fuel we've got our fuel five gallons 49 dollars and i i need it so it's no other way around it um this heater works very well, so I'm going to make this really short so I can cut the heater back on. Uh, leave me some questions there in the comments. Um, anything that you might want to know about the event or what's going on this weekend. Uh, also, um, there's going to be a ton of people. New York, Miami, freaking Texas, Arizona, Orlando, all these surrounding areas. They're traveling in here to California, Canada. Uh, dude, name them. They're coming in town. Um, we've got Japanese drivers. We've got pro drivers. No pro cars. They're all in their simple seat time. I, I hate that phrase, a simple seat time car. Anyway, they're all in their other cars aside from pro cars. Let me know what you guys want to see this weekend. Who that you know that's coming by that uh, you want me to link up with. I definitely will try to get some tandems. Um, you know me, I'm a first person shooter. I like to give you the bird's eye view, my view of the event so that you can kind of see it through my eyes of what I'm going through. Um, we can get the uh, Gold Gran Turismo set up by getting the camera up on the roof looking straight down. Um, we can set cameras up everywhere. Just leave it in the comments for your suggestions and I will definitely accommodate and make that stuff happen. Um, we're going to do a little bit of dirt biking and exploring the terrain. Uh, there's all kind of stuff going on. Um, any car checkups or reviews for people that will be there. Um, I'm gonna try to interact with just about anybody and everybody. God, it's cold as hell. So, uh, it's this is crazy, it's almost summertime. <clears throat> so just let me know what you wanna see, leave it in the comment. I'll try my best to make it happen and accommodate. Other than that, I'm turning this heater on cause uh, I'm freezing, all right? Y'all, peace. Got to have dedication, hard work, plus patience. To some more of my sacrifice, I'm done waiting. I'm done waiting, told you that I wasn't playing. Now you hear what I've been saying? Dedication.